84-year-old come-and-go employee goes after a car full of people he thinks are stealing gas and winds up without a job. It happened to the come-and-go at East First in Delaware in Ankeny. That's where we find KCCI's Mark Tauschek live tonight with our top story. Yeah, guys, Glenn Zerbel told me this afternoon that for his own protection, working overnight here at this Ankeny come-and-go, he always kept a hammer within reach. He told me he even used it several times during the 16 years that he worked here. But apparently, the last time he used it cost him his job. All I was trying to do is stop a thief. Glenn Zerbel says he's not surprised he lost his job at Come and Go. Because he told me not to chase cars. But last week, during his overnight shift, he did. After he saw a car fill up and start driving off without paying. I asked him to uh, uh, come in and pay him. They said they did. And I said, well, it didn't work. He said they played with a card. Didn't work. I says, if you come inside, we'll straighten it up. The driver tried to drive past Zerbel, and that's when he pulled out the hammer. Didn't exactly mean to, but I broke the back window. The driver and two passengers were not happy. They called 911, and the responding officer questioned Zerbel. Want to know why I carried the hammer? I said, well, if I'm confronting confront a thief, that's what I do. It is what he does. In 2011, he stopped an armed robber when he struck him on the side of the head with a hammer. I expected him to drop, but I, but he didn't. He must have had, yeah, I hope he's got a headache. Come and Go would not confirm any of this, citing employee confidentiality, but they did send a statement that all employees are instructed not to attempt to stop a vehicle in this situation. We don't condone any type of confrontation, especially, especially for a, uh, a property crime. Zerbel was arrested and charged with fourth degree criminal mischief. Have you ever been in trouble with the law before? In 1952, I shot my mouth off to an MP over in Germany, and I got to spend three hours in the guardhouse. That's the closest I come to get locked up. <laughs> come and go declined to say if the company's pursuing charges against the driver that Zerbel accuses of driving off without paying. Do you have any regrets? No. I was ready to retire anyhow, and. Uh, and uh, I still think I was in the right. Mr. Zerbel told me he's actually thrown his hammer at a lot of gas drives off, drive offs over the years and says they rarely, if ever, come back after that experience. He also says that he used his hammer to bash out the uh, headlights of two teenagers a few years ago that he caught stealing beer from this come and go. His first appearance in court on that fourth degree criminal mischief charge is tomorrow. Live in Ankeny, Mark Tausch at KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.